Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing some of my early thoughts on the Microsoft To Do. Now this is in preview mode, but it is fully functional and is available on both web. I believe it's on Android and also iOS. So I've downloaded it on iOS and I'm also going to be checking out on web in this video, sharing some of my early thoughts. So for those who don't know, basically Microsoft To Do is a replicate of Wunderlist in a sense that they sort of strip the team, strip the parts and put it into this new Microsoft project, uh, which essentially makes Wunderlist a dead sort of application. Um, they haven't confirmed it yet, but from all of the signs so far, it is evolving into the Microsoft to-do application. So what I'll be doing is covering all of the features and sort of sharing my early thoughts. Obviously this is in preview mode, so I can imagine they're gonna be adding a few more functions over the next three to six months as they sort of grow the experience. So here we are with some early thoughts of to-do from Microsoft. So as you can see, the URL has changed to todo.microsoft.com and the layout, obviously. So design is one of the most consistent uh, changes. Uh, as you can see, it's got slight replicates of Vendelis experience, this sort of left hand bar with these sort of iconography and sort of list creation there, as well as whenever you create a task, so chat to Tom, let's say, uh, when you create a task and you click into it, you've got this right hand side. So that's very similar, especially with the icons, very similar to what uh, Vendelis had before. So as you can imagine, they've stripped out some of the core design elements. The one thing that I do like about this application is this, this sort of style and uh, coloration. So as you can see, you've got my day. Um, I'll explain more of that in a minute. Um, just going over to settings. So uh, you can't actually change, I don't think you can change the um, this menu here, but so this is consistent across the board. So once you have this on your app, it will look the same on iOS and Android. Uh, it looks really great. The design is very consistent. That's one thing I noticed on. You could tell these applications are very much the same. Uh, and when you click on here, obviously you've got this um, theme editing as well, which I'll explain in a minute again, but uh, it's very nice because it doesn't uh, waver from the mobile version, which is so lovely. Um, it seems quite, quite a fluid application when I was using it on iOS, I found it pretty smooth. I really like the ding it makes when you complete a task. Um, I think that's very similar to what Vindalist had. I'm pretty sure they had that feature. And I really like some of the ways that you can use the list uh, functions on the side with these emojis and actually having them there because it feels does feel quite warm. Let me just show you what the change um, the theme. So if you wanted to plan a holiday and you want it to be a bit rosier, uh, then you can have that option. And there's loads of other little backgrounds, which is quite cute. And I can imagine in this, because it's in preview view at the moment, they're going to be building on this. So jumping into the features of this application, many people are impressed by this sort of my day element of it. I, I sort of like this. It's this, this pinned list at the top. Um, and you can have all of the tasks that you've got to complete today. Um, so once you're in to do, let's say I've got here this uh, revise for exam in May, if I add it to my day, it will actually bring it over here despite the due date being on a different day. Um, as you can see, the tasks are pretty easy to create. Once you add one, uh, you can just say like, uh, finish the to-do review. Once you've got that, uh, as you can see, on, there's some context to add on the side. Uh, you've also got add to my day, remind me, add due date. And the due date is quite nice too. Uh, the design, I must say, uh, of the iconography and things like that is very impressive. Um, it's something that has stood out. You've got custom repeats as well, which is nice. So you can actually repeat it based on days, weeks, months, years, uh, and on certain days as well. You can add notes as well, not too much detail in that. Uh, and it pops away like that, which is quite cool in a way. Um, I really like the way that you can add to-dos. Like I find that pretty easy and I feel like they're gonna be adding more over time. I don't think you can do uh, no, you can't do the like intelligent input sort of thing at the moment. Um, you can select them, which is nice. So you can right click essentially and select them. And that works quite well on the web version. You can mark as complete. 
do tomorrow, remove, and you can create a new list from this to-do item, which is quite cool, um, or you can move it straight into a new list. The one thing it doesn't have is an inbox, but you can create an inbox. So if you actually did want to have an inbox, um, then that's possible. Uh, bear with me, I'm just trying to get this. Oh no, I can't. I can't seem to use my own. Uh, sorry, I can't seem to use my own emoji editor. But that's fine, uh, and you can move that up and down, uh, which is quite nice. And adding lists is really simple too. You just have to hit the new list button, and it will come up. You can also delete, copy, and duplicate a list from there. So it's all very uh, impressive so far. It seems very basic though. Um, there's not too uh, much in the way of uh, issues. The search works quite well uh, as a search should um, and it does do its job. Um, in terms of the completed tasks, uh, so once you complete a task in my day, it remains um, checked off so you can actually see it in there. So the one thing I liked as well was the emojis. Uh, I, will talk, I was going to talk about that in a little more. You can actually add emojis from the app which is nice uh, and have that, that sort of running which is great. Uh, something very small detail but very nice. So you can actually import from another service like Todoist or Wunderlist which I thought was quite weird. Um, I doubt they'll be able to get it to perfection because I've for example got a hundred to-dos in the next seven days spread over the seven days of course but uh, importing those would be an absolute nightmare so I don't know how well it works Something maybe I might do with a fake account that I've created and see how well it imports because obviously there are a lot of context points that each Todoist item could have or a Vindalist item uh, that might make it a bit messy. So one of the features that a lot of people don't know about is this suggestion feature and I've only had it available um, here. So it gives you suggestions. Um, so get your day started with these suggested to-dos. Uh, it gives you suggestions from your to-do box, which is quite nice. Um, so if I remove this from my day, um, I believe, if I remove it from my day uh, and go back to there and press this, um, okay, it didn't appear, but it actually gives you a tally of some suggested tasks. So over time, it will start learning about you and offer up some to-dos that you can actually do, which is quite nice, uh, I guess. Uh, I would like to see it in practice. So again, I'll probably do a full one, two month review of this when it comes out. In terms of advanced features, um, it's obviously in preview at the moment, but the sort of bugaboo is that no, there is no inbox. Uh, I believe to, uh, Wunderlist used to have an inbox and that is a sore miss here. Uh, and it doesn't really formulate off any sort of advanced to-do list application. So at the moment, this is just a bare bones of it. Um, the one thing that has impressed me uh, and my opinion of the application is it's really well designed, like the iconography, uh, the actual uh, features, the my day, I really like, uh, I think that's cool. And the concept of uh, suggestions could be a really nice function. So this is very much a stripped down version of Wunderlist at the moment, it's gonna be growing, so in the next couple of weeks, you'll see more of it. Um, I'm not sure how well it will take by storm, but let's keep an eye on it. I think due to its name, due to its consistency, and due to its, uh, obviously the, the community that they can bring in it could be very popular but then again it could be a microsoft uh flop but we'll we'll see anyway guys thank you so much for watching this one i hope you enjoyed it please do share some of your early comments in the comments below uh, because i'd love to hear what you think of the whole move from Wunderlist all the way over to to do because i know a lot of you guys are stressed out and panicky that Wunderlist is essentially over so in the comments just share some of your opinions on the features and all of those stuff so far because i'd really love to hear it and whether you've had any sort of change in your heart and moving over to something like to do is any do or meister task or anything like that anyway guys make sure to have a great week keep productive and i'll see you guys very very soon cheers